Another thing that is quite common is that we have vector equations that we need to solve for x or another variable, which is also a vector then. For example, let's say we have following equation. We can do calculations just as if these vectors would be normal variables. And of course, we want to note that a, b, and also x are three-dimensional vectors. What we could do is to is multiply the constants in, so that would correspond to sum it up on both sides. that and then we could start to get everything on one side so that would leave us two now we can divide by minus eight that would give us like that so because we can divide it by two already which gives, gives us this and two times four is an eighth and lastly we can also see that this is divisible by four so we could write something like this also which would be our formula and of course we have done a mistake right here this would be minus let's see if we can fix that minus right there and also minus right here and that should be our formula. Let's implement that as a function. So we can go into our just again. And I think we need to clear that, but still have the formula in mind, right? And we can change that to get x. This is also dependent on two vectors, but now we have the formula of a. Now we can do this, divide by four and minus b just like that and that would calculate our new and yeah that would be our x that would solve our equation